hi guys how are you doing happy monday happy new week how has your monday started welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel guys thank you so much for always watching my videos thank you so much for always checking on my channel guys and for my new subscribers you're so much welcome feel at home just continue watching my videos and also continue to like and share and also this is the channel where i give you unique entertaining and informative content i do all things lifestyle what i do where i go and uh, the people i meet who i meet i always try to show you guys a lot a lot of stuff happening in the community i also try to show you guys uh what you can do for your lives uh, like uh, mostly in business in farming and all kind of stuff guys uh, today is Monday. You go out. It's just a random day for me. Uh, I'm just around uh, Monday. I try to get uh, what people want. I do deliveries. I, I plan on how to do the deliveries and how to get some other stuff. Like uh, for the whole week and also do some things which uh, just come up. So today I'm just done. It's like uh, almost 11 a.m. And guys, the sun out there... Uh, I guess I'm prepared uh, again for another week for the hot sun, guys. We are not complaining so much, but we thank God for the gift of life and whatever is giving to us. Guys, remember, I broke my spectacles. Uh, the frame, it broke and also the lens came out. Remember, I had uh, a different kind and uh, I had to go and change uh another um, another frame because i can't survive out there the last two days after my frame broke it was so hectic guys like i had a headache all through uh you know guys for those ones who have this kind of problem you know how it feels like it's never it's never life as usual after you don't have this so I went and I got these frames, which I think uh, I was told they are kind of plastic. Even though they can fall accidentally, they won't break like the other ones. So I got kind of uh, a good quality of the frame, guys. So at least I'm sorted. I can go out comfortably and also have my cape here. So guys, today I'm getting out just around my home area i want to go and uh, do some a few shopping for the books for my son he just joined grade one but guys i'm wondering at grade one 20 exercise books for what grade one i don't know is the cbc or what but <clears throat> they sign they are like too many for me for a grade one skill like 21 exercise books and all the list goes on guys uh, but uh, 20 exercise books that's a lot for me uh, according to me I, I feel like that's a lot okay I don't know maybe they keep others when they are filled up and then they keep on exchanging but I want to go and get a few book covers uh, the ones I've not covered around my area from a bookshop or a supermarket last time i bought at the a bookshop they were like a, a bit expensive so i don't know between the supermarket and the bookshop which one is expensive and which one is cheaper guys so that is what i want to do i pass by the market like i don't have like that kind of specific thing i want to go and do and by the way uh the spectacles are kind of loose like they keep on falling like you know guys you are just doing your thing and then they keep on falling like this the way i hate you know those days like you know what i mean i don't like this so they keep on falling i would just want to pass by the optical guy and uh to tighten them for me here i pass by the market and then there's a shop a thrift shop around me called uh, seven sunday i just want to pass by and see like a uh, they are at a fair price today so i just want to go and see uh just making rounds guys for the day to pass because uh sometimes i don't know it gets so boring to be alone in the house 
after you, you have done what you have done and then you're just alone yeah sometimes it gets so boring but i just want to go and do that that is what i'm going to do out there not so much but uh let me catch up guys with you later um uh, when i'm being kissed by the sun out there you know yeah see you later guys On my way out, guys, I met with my friend and we had to go to the market to see good things, guys. You know, ladies, ladies and clothes and shoes. Yes. <laughs> Today is Monday and they are opening up new stock. And then we met another friend. We had to pass by her shop and see what she offers, what she is selling. And guys, she has a very nice shop. And guess what we were talking about, guys? Hmm? Udakuya wa mama. <laughs> guys, we just had udaku for like 20 minutes and we had just forgotten where we were going. <laughs> but of course, we had to promote her friend. Yes, guys, that is what people do. You see what your friend has and then you promote by buying because you don't have to get all the things from other places if your friend has that kind of stuff. You just promote them. We support each other in all ways. If you're selling something I don't have and if you're selling something I don't have, we just support each other and we buy from each other, yeah. But we had so much udaku, guys. Yes. <laughs> plus the sun you remember i was out here doing like a just having a random day so we we talked we catched up like a for some time and then now we added the thrift shop where we had uh, to go and see what they are offering you know we like things when they are cheaper price Checking clothes here at 7th Sunday, guys. Uh, they have very, really nice stuff. At 100 bob each. Um, yeah, they look uh, uh, nice and they are very of good quality. So I thought like uh, they, are, they are nice, by the way. The clothes they had at 100 bob, it's really, really worth it. They have a lot, a lot. Uh a lot of uh, stuff like uh, for the kids, for men's shirts. The men's shirts were really dope for a hundred bob. And also they are really organized guys. These guys are really organized. The staff here are so humble. They are so friendly. They just allowed me to take a video here. And uh, that's a good thing. Although you can see like there are no ma main people here. I guess it's because of January. You know, people have taken kids to school. They don't have uh, much to shop about. But uh, the shop, uh, Seven Sunday, they have very, really nice clothes. I've been here for since they opened some like one year ago. They are very, very cool stuff. And if you stay around, just visit the shop, guys. Not like I'm advertising them, but they are very quality kind of stuff, guys. I got myself a nice sweater. Very nice one at a hundred bob, but I just loved it, guys. The mango season, of course, we cannot pass. How? Lazima tukule maembe, guys. It's the season, that season. You see what I mean, guys? Our place right now, it's like a kitengela. You can see. You know, Kitegele is where uh, dust rains. And I managed to get the covers from town uh, in OTC. You'll see in another video. Uh, they sell this 10 pack at 100 bob, which is uh, a bit fair compared to the bookshop here at my place at 15 bob each. So, yeah, I have to cover the books.
guys when i'm here covering these books i am um, i'm just reminded of my past like when i grew up you know guys i grew up in the village i grew up in the village i was born i was born in the village and um, those times when i was growing up when i was in primary school we didn't have uh, this kind of covers you know we didn't have them those times you know like uh life for life right now for these kids have really changed it's so easy uh, for some way in some way i mean it's so kind of not that struggling you don't they don't have that struggle we went through when we were growing up when we were going to school so in the village those times when i was growing up i was in primary school uh we didn't have all these kind of covers and you were supposed to cover to cover your books i mean now nah. and then you know those times the only thing you can get to cover your books were the newspapers and those newspapers remember not everyone every household can uh, afford a newspaper so i don't know sometimes we, we used to get them from maybe our uncles or some magazines from my aunties so the you see those magazines you just go and uh, just pull the pages and you come and cover your books as long as the book is covered doesn't even matter the you know they used to have pictures those uh fashion magazines they used to have very nice, nice pictures like let's say like a, a magazine like the vogue yeah those ones they are the ones we used to cover our books with and then guys you are wondering why i'm having this we used to cover our books with the these pockets here yes move chapo not even the ugali 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 packet because uh, you know in the village most you cannot even find somewhere in our village uh selling selling packed maize flour so the only ones we could buy are for mandazis and chapos so this pack here guys this is the one we used to cover our books like a you just have to do it nicely from where they have just folded here you just undo it like this very nicely and when it all comes off you know when it's just open like this uh you cover your book but we used to cover our books not like a this out, out, outer part was to go inside so the outer part of the book will look like this now this inner part will be the outer book of the cover of the book so it used to be okay it used to be good good like uh no no one cares like uh umetumia cover gani kukava kitabu like no one cared like uh what you have used to cover your book as long as your book is covered so that is this is what we used to cover our books with guys and it was very hard to come by remember like not everyone could afford to buy unga ya chapo or unga ya mandazi but then we used to 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 make the chapo and the mandazi with the same unga you know not like today like uh, there's a different flour for chapati and different flour for mandazi those times when you can afford uh uh unga ya chapo or unga you cannot even buy like uh so many packets you know you can just buy like a uh, two imagine you are, you have two packets of this and you are like three three siblings in your in your house you you know in your family and you all want to cover your books it was a struggle guys it was so much struggle so and the teacher doesn't even care like uh, mm, what what they what, what they want is 
they want the books covered so they don't care like you don't have you cannot afford i don't know me i cannot even remember like there were covers which were sold okay maybe they were but me i never saw them and uh, and uh, there's an, another one you you see that kind of um uh how do we call it like this there was also some i don't know some I don't know where you used to get these ones from, like uh, this kind, this type. Also, we used to use this type to cover our books. At least this one uh, can just look uh, presentable, you know. We used to get, I guess, from, you see, fertilizers. Fertilizers, that inner part, you know, when they, are, they come in a sack, that small sack. And then now the inner part, you know, they put, they put uh, this kind of bag from inside the sack and then the inner part they put that kind of uh, cover bag from inside so we you you just wait and when uh after farming when uh, everything is out you use that bag you wash it very nicely because you know it's fertilizer uh you just wash it very nicely you clean it you let it dry and then you use to cover you, you you use it to cover your book yeah and remember like um uh, when we were using uh the unga packets to cover our books like this one we didn't have uh we didn't have cell tape or glue we used to <laughs> guys <laughs> we have come from far <laughs> you see the unga chapo that one that one is what you use to cover our to cover now to seal the book like uh, you know when i'm doing this with the seal tape that is what you use to seal the book with like uh because you know when you you, you, you do it with this cover it's so hard it just comes up so we used to mix the ungaya chapo with uh, water and then it comes, you know, the way it is like a sticky and then if you stick it small, uh, a small part like here, it will just stick. Now that is what, what you used to do, like um, after making that mixture, you just come here and then you find maybe like a, a stick or something or a paper, you just do it like this and then you stick it like this. And then you just leave your book closed or you put something on top or some other books on top. And then that is it. It stays there permanently. Yeah, that is what we used to do. And I remember my brother, my, my elder brother used to do that for me. And when he does that for me, I have to do something for him. Like if that day was his uh, duty to do the dishes i'll do it for him when, when he's covering my books you see guys we have come from far now this one has reminded me like uh life changes guys like uh hey my god we have come from very very far now you just go and buy uh like these covers you just go buy them fitted you can buy those ones uh which will just come and measure the book and cut and start covering but uh life is made easier right now life is so simple life is so simplified i mean like uh <laughs> this is what i call evolvement like we have just evolved guys when i eh, i've just remembered what we used to do to cover our books in the village and life used to be that is the only life we knew like life used to be fun like you you are not stressed like oh my god i don't have these covers i don't have what you just use what you have that is the life we were used to
covering done guys now it's time to write the name i had uh, not covered the others are in school so yeah i'm proud now i've done this job sometimes these kind of jobs you feel like just so tiring but you have to do the mummy jobs guys For the subject, the teachers will just uh, label them because they don't know. And guys, I hope you have enjoyed my video. Please, I urge you, you continue subscribing. Recommend my videos to your friends and family. Let's support each other this year. Creating content is not an easy job. Creating the content, uh, editing the content, the video, guys, is not that easy. Like, uh, it's a sacrifice, guys. It's a sacrifice. And uh, sometimes I say you just do what you are uh, passionate about because some things if you do some things which you you are not you are not even interested in um it won't go well because you just be feeling like uh, you don't you don't have uh, that morale to do the kind of thing you want to do but uh, when you do something which you you have interest in it uh, becomes so easy like uh, it just flows so guys uh, I tell you, creating content is not that easy. And sometimes you may get, you're so tight, you're so fixed in whatever you're doing and uh, you have to, 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 to create content. You have to, you have to edit and that time of editing, guys, uh, maybe <laughs> it's no joke. It's no joke, guys, but... Uh, yeah we have uh we have to do whatever we have to do and uh when you're doing these things you are not doing it uh mostly like uh for money or for anything sometimes people do it for fun you do it to show what people what what you your life is all about and uh mostly to encourage people about uh so many different kind of lives like uh Maybe in whatever situation you are, you can just do anything. Yeah. Wish you all the best as we ha we always say. Um, keep on keeping on and uh, don't forget to put God first in whatever you are doing. And always, always prayer works miracles, guys. Uh, we are on February so continue with uh, whatever you had planned this year don't give up yet the year is just new the year is has just started and uh yeah keep up a life and enjoy your life and i wish you all the best in this month of love if you don't have anyone to love you, just love yourself. Don't ever wait for someone to make you feel loved. Love yourself the way you are. Just love yourself and life goes on. So guys, thank you so much for watching me. See you on another video of which I'm going to encourage and inspire you guys about a lot, a lot of things. And um, yeah. Bye bye.